this is it. We've come to the B. The B. The big B in the STB method. If you've made it this far, amazing. Um, oh my goodness, Terry Bear. I just had before this, all of our podcasting, I had a um, coaching call with um, one of my social stories pro members. And she was like, all right. Yeah. It was, she's like, okay, this is what I'm going to do for try. This is what I'm going to do for spy. And we went through like her plan in action for the yeah. first 90 days. It felt so exhilarating. Yay. And so now we come to the B. The B, which I feel like usually people jump to first. You all are really have the B down town, Julie Brown. You do. Yeah. The, the buy. You do. Yeah. You, you want to rush to buy. It's like a jackhammer, right? It's like the guy who's like, wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. It's like, whoa, let's do some of the, the are you okay? Was that too much? <laughs> yes. To just, yes. <laughs> Sorry. You know what I mean? Like, so let's do the foreplay. The spy and the try is the foreplay. Mm-hmm. And now it's time to buy, right? Um, let's don't do forget then. 16% of your audience, they want to buy immediately. But if you spend all your time on the buy, you're missing out on the 68%. But let's talk about that. You're going to feel tired. You're going to feel tired because you're going to get more no's if you just spend like. Yeah. No and, words are coming out of my mouth, but you know what I mean. I do. When you think <laughs> about it, the early adopters, after a while, your song and dance is boring. They've moved on to someone because they're early adopters. So just, but yeah. at some point, the goal is that everyone, even the laggards get to the point where they're ready to buy from you. So let's mm-hmm. help you. We're going to help you specifically right now with the top two things in 2023. Hey, you to really make sure that your buy is good as, as it can be. Cause while you are quite enthusiastic about encouraging people to buy. I'm going to be real straight with you right now. Your buying method is not working for the early adopters. It isn't. Am I right or am I right? You're right. I'm so right. I'm so right. By the way, I'm buying today. Did you see that it's the 20, we're recording this on the 22nd of December and there's a certain company that's having 22% off for the 22. Who? Give me a little the company a signal. You we're planning on getting the collagen from. Oh, uh-huh. okay. So, you know, I meant to tell you that. Mm-hmm. All right, good to know. Okay, good to know. Just and that does not narrow it down because, like, everybody has color shoots. Too, I'm sure. <laughs> it's good for your <laughs> nails. Like, we got collagen. These, I'm just saying this, gal. I don't know this for a fact. So if that happens to be true, it's just we're just that good. Okay, so two things. Number one, y'all, when people. <laughs> tell you they want to buy please just let them buy please oh please let them buy just please, please let me buy please let them buy <laughs> don't make it hard <laughs> don't tell them about the three ways they can buy and how the best deals if they join you even though they've never tried the product and they think they might be allergic to it or if they sign up and agree to be on the auto ship that you're not calling auto ship because you have a cuter name for it. And that they just contact you in time, you'll be able to switch it for them and it'll be great. Just let them buy retail for the love of Pete mm-hmm. or Paul and Mary. Because guess what? On the website, it will prompt them with those things as well. You do not need to do that. You do not. It is overkill and people want what they want when they want it. And when you won't go yeah. give them the dang link because you want to see if they want to do these things, they are on to you. They are bored by you. They are moving on to the next consultant or advocate in your company, or they're going to find something that looks kind of similar and might do it, but it's Amazon will be quick and I don't have to go deal with all this. Well, do you want to join me? BS. It is a little bit. It is. It is. It is. it is. We are calling a spade a spade. We are calling the poop a poop. That's right. Um, it smells like poop. If it looks like poop, <laughs> probably tastes like poop. <laughs> well, that was fun. Yeah, that was fun. Okay, so we digress. Okay, so here's what you do, though. Seriously, let yeah. them buy. Give them a link to buy. Mm-hmm. And if it's something where you're putting things on social media and it's and you're like link in bio for the love of Pete. That link in bio should not go to your generic website, your personal website with all your products. Some of you, you know who you are. Most of you have like a hundred products if we count all the SKUs, 200 SKUs. There are too many squirrels. We're getting too distracted. Things come up. If you're telling me about that amazing pill that's going to make me lose weight and thank goodness it's 2023, I'm ready to do it. 
then the link should go straight to the checkout so I can get that because you've already convinced me. I'm already excited. I said I want to buy. Don't make me go to your website and try and remember what the dang pill was called and find all the spots and the places and the things. But Roxanne, I have all these products I talk about all the time. I can't have them all linking out. Well, first of all, that's a problem. You should have a hero product. And there's a Boom. podcast for that. that we, will <laughs> we will link to the bottom of the screen. Oh, there's but- a podcast for that problem. <laughs> we got an episode for that problem. Don't you worry. We even have a kit if you want help on how to create a hero product. I mean, pick yes. up a hero product. We got you. Okay. Secondly, which reminds me, we should put that kit on that episode. Just thought. Yeah. Um, the other thing is this, y'all. You told me about this product. You told me this was the good product. I trust you. Let me get the product. And then when I'm so excited about the product you told me to get, then you can open up your jacket and sell me anything. I'll watch if you want to. Okay. Mm-hmm. So go look at your link in bio and fix it. Please fix it. Yeah. I can't things- tell you how many times I go to people's link in bio and I'm ready. And I get there and I'm like, huh? You lost the ready, loving feeling, didn't you? You lost the yep. feeling. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's true. It happens all the time. So then here's the thing. Since you're over at your link in bio right now, fixing it up, smishing it up, get rid of the multi, like, don't give me five products on there. Give me the one we've been talking about, but I'm going to go one further. This is for those of you like, okay, but what about the buying process? when it comes to actually like they want to join that kind of buy. Amazing. Mm-hmm. How many of you have a link in your link in bio that's like, join me in business and it clicks to link and takes them to the website and they learn about the amazing business they can join. Ooh, juicy. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> not juicy. <laughs> you thought it was juicy. It's it's, not juicy. It's not. It is not. It's not, but it's not juicy. That's right. <laughs> Um, y'all, here's the thing. How many of you have actually had someone who's clicked on that link and joined you woke up and they're like, and they join you're like, how did you find me? Oh, I saw it on your Instagram and I just joined you just like that. That is not a thing. And if it's happened to you once, it's not going to happen again anytime soon. I just said it. I'm telling you, that's the the fact. Take it off. Take Take it off. off. Now, unlike okay. others who would just be like, I'm not going to be that, that woman who's going to be like, take it off and I'm not going to give you a solution. I want to give you a solution to that. Take it off and get yourself a link for a no longer than a 15 minute consult. I like 10 better. I'll be honest, a consult with you because the truth of the matter is we're talking about going business together. Should we just do that willy nilly? Cause I, and I don't know you, or perhaps maybe we should have a consult where I can ask you questions about joining you in business, Taryn. And you can ask me questions about whether I'm the person you are compatible with. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Other businesses do this. Like I love always trying to call out like how other business uses these things. So let's bring this strategy from other businesses and fit it to direct sales. So I sell a service online. No one's just going to buy it randomly without talking to me. Mm -hmm. Same with someone joining you in business. You should talk to them, get to know each other. It's not like a job interview, but it's just like, it's like literally sometimes I like to even call it a coffee chat because let's talk. Let's, let's, you know, let it be comfortable. Yeah. You know, for social team, um, so our clients that we have that we create all their social media for them. I wanted to call this out because you can't just buy that service from us. No, no, we have to have a compatibility call. Because Mm -hmm. I need to make sure that you are in the right space to get the amazing service we're about to give you and that it's going to work. And if I don't feel like it's going to work, I'll say, yeah, I don't think we're compatible. That's not going to work. Same thing I do for my high level coaching program, where I'm going to literally be coaching you like for a year, one-on-one and in small groups, I want to meet with you first and make sure that you're the right person. And I think that's Mm -hmm. right. And it gives them an opportunity to decide, is my service right for them? Mm -hmm. It is okay. Don't feel like it's going to make it slower. It actually makes you seem more logical, more professional, and it's better all around. And it's less spammy. Like, please don't send them to the weird group Zoom. (laughs) I'm sorry. I'm going to say it because it's weird. It's just maybe it works, used to work, whatever. No, you are your own business owner. You are running a business. You can have the consult call. Yes, you can. And listen, for those of you like, no, I can't. 
have the consult call. And if they do want more information, you can invite them to that group Zoom, but have a conversation with them first. Wait, mm-hmm. oh, you're interested? Go to the Zoom. I, I think you're right. I think that that's yeah. that's a nice call out, Taryn. I didn't know you were going yeah. there. Yeah. Oh, well, mm-hmm. I went there. She went there. I went there. So, and it's just, you know, nothing is wrong with, actually there is a lot of things wrong with maybe the older way of doing things, but we're trying to bring you up to 2023 now, Mm -hmm. keeping you up on how to do these things and run it like a professional business. hundred percent. Now listen, um, for those of you who are like, okay, I need it. How do I do a link? This is not what is on professional is doing the, okay, let's set up a time. What time works for you? Does Tuesday work for you? What time on Tuesday? Let me see. Oh, that doesn't work for me. Oh, what time's on? Ooh, ah, e, ah. No, just go to Calendly. Calendly.com. Get a free account. You can make one type right. of appointment. It defaults to 30 minutes, change it to 15 or 10 and hook it up with your calendar. And then people can professionally sign up You'll get a text message. They'll get a text message, which, oh, wait, you got their phone number then there. Look at you and their email. Look yeah. at you. Just and you can like change the questions you ask. Yeah. So if you, maybe they want to have a Zoom call. Maybe they want to talk on the phone. Like then you can pick. You can also create a free Zoom link or use Google Meet. That's free, whatever. You know, there's so many free options. Or you can or talk to them on the phone. phone call. Yeah, exactly. But at least it's scheduled professionally. So we really obviously feel strongly about this and it's super easy to do. Those are our recommendations. Mm-hmm. That's how you get make buy even better and make it easier for people to buy your product and join you in business in 2023. Mm-hmm. I've enjoyed I this. I love it. Buy, try, buy, STB. Methods. I've been having fun with it too, uh, according to my reel that I put out oh, there into my the world. Goodness, I cracked up. Scott watched it last night. He's like, "Who uses checkbooks anymore?" I'm like, "It's the point of it." I was like, "I know." How crazy is it that I had a checkbook with me, you guys? I was at my grandpa's house. I needed to go. He's coming in from out of town, so I went to turn his heat on, bring his Christmas tree upstairs, and just was having some inspiration. And I'm like, how do I, we'll link this reel so you can watch yeah, it. How do I like it. convey buying when I'm here by myself in someone's house? I <laughs> and I was like, fun. my old checkbook was in like my like laptop bag. I was oh, like, oh. I thought it was adorable. <laughs> Scott's like, who uses checks anymore? I'm like, it's, it's a depiction. <laughs> Scott's always got something to say. He always has something to say. Always. The generator mouth of his. Um, so yeah, but I, I love that reel. It's so good. So no, I really had a good I time. think that one stumps the shimmy. Like this is a good one. You topped the shimmy. You I topped it. the shimmy. You're right. You're right. Um, y'all, I, what I really hope is that you lean into the STB method, share this trio quadruple, I guess it's a f- suite of four podcasts and really lean into it because it is the thing. It is that new method that is going to really not only simplify things for you, but also for your team and also for your audience and will make a huge difference in 2023. I didn't even just think about like, yes, you can teach your team to do this stuff too. Like how smooth are you guys going to look? Like you're the team that people want to be on because you're teaching your team these skills that make their life easier. Oh, why didn't I think about that till now? She didn't come to the whole part of the workshop or she would have heard that. That's fine. I didn't. You know, I was only there for the beginning, taking the footage and then off I went. I was like, then bye guys. She, went. she has a life. It's all good. Um, Amazing. So behind the scenes, what's going on with you? We are prepping for Christmas here because we're recording this before the new year. And I have all my wrapping to do tomorrow. Mm. Did you get And guess answer? what? No. Okay. Keep going. Sorry. Keep going. Um. Okay, I waited till the very last minute to wrap. Like literally, my husband works all weekend. Like I had no idea how I was going to do this. You guys were getting a blizzard and his restaurant already pre like safely closed. So he's going to be home on Friday and I get to wrap all the presents. And my kids are the age where I've got things to put together. How perfect. I mean, I hope no one gets hurt in the blizzard, but I'm going to be wrapping presents. Babs, did you get the wrapping paper? You have it. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I just might not have enough bags, so I don't quite. I'm gonna make it work. Amazon. I'm make it work. Does Amazon come in the same first, the same day for you? 
we are too um it comes second day but we're too close to christmas now where a lot of things like i've noticed okay. don't have the two day anymore i was like uh, oh two day i could not live in a world where amazon comes two days later that would just no amazon is 45 minutes away from us so i guess that means two days I'm, Davey I'm, doesn't agree with it either. He's I, very upset. Yeah. Mine's one day. Sometimes same day. Dang, I, I wish. It's Amazon world we live in. Um, What's oh, going on I'm, with you? I'm thinking. What's going on with me? Do you do, do that? I haven't told you. <gasps> Did you before. open my gift? Did you open it? it? Under the tree. I put it under the tree. Oh, The okay. box is literally in under the tree. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because mm-hmm. you know, like it's Scott and Scott and I, we don't really. Uh, I don't give him gifts this year. I need to ask him because if we do, we are gonna get him something. I do want to give him a little something. We don't really do gifts. Yeah, um, do we? And so it's like, but it's only the two of us here and Baylor, and she doesn't really know it's Christmas. She just knows the tree's there, and maybe she's so like it's fun to get gifts and to put them under the tree. So oh, oh good. Okay, it's not actually wrapped in there. So the box is literally the wrapping. Good. I don't believe in wrapping, by the way. I'm totally vehemently against it, which gets my sisters very annoyed with me, but oh. I don't like it. So it's a good thing. Okay, so good. good. Yeah, I knew that. I knew yeah. that. I just, it's like, why did we wrap it to rip it up? It just seems like a waste. I've never it's liked wrapping. It's fun. But it's all good. Ripped. It's just like, why do I have to take all this time to make it look pretty so someone can rip it open? That just doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, that part I don't love either. I'm a bag girl usually. I do the bag. When my sister had my nephew, she was like, you cannot. She's like, you have to wrap now. I'm like, the hell I do. Amazon does that for you too. So like if that, (laughs) no, I'm not wrapping. Uh, I will say my nephew is, so we're going home for Christmas. We know this, right? And then, ooh, Rose Bowl. Going to the Rose Bowl. So, you know, I go every year. Yeah. Um, And then, but my nephew, he leaves December like 2nd or 3rd or, no, December 2nd. He's moving. My little 16 year old nephew is moving not to little, where to Florida because he got into, he's a golfer and his, he's desired is to be in a division one golf team for college. Okay. And so yep. he went to a camp at IMG Um, in it's IMG is like an Academy. He went to a camp this, okay. this past fall and I guess things went well. And next thing you know, now he's going to be at that academy now for the next year and a half. So so is it like a boarding school kind of? Like boarding school. Yeah, it's like a boarding school. Yeah. And they they have this cool facility. And they li- so he lives in the dorms. They eat. They have like conditioning rooms. And they've got like the, yeah. all the Theragun stuff and the I don't know. And he had the golf courses there. So he golfs all day. And they like wow. check his swing and do all those things. And then he goes to school. So he's going to do that for the next year and a half. That's well, cool. It, my my husband did that for hockey. And uh, to me, I'm like, you were that young, and your parents let you leave. Uh huh. Yeah, you did it for hockey. It's huh? a thing. So, you did yeah, it for hockey. Thing. So off he, he goes. got kicked out, but that's another story for another time. It was an experience, so I'm proud of him. Yeah, we'll have to one day. <laughs> we'll have to try and get the guys on. I don't know when we can figure that out, but we'll have to get the guys on the podcast. Oh my god, that's yeah. Okay. <laughs> Scott would is just waiting, so that will happen quickly. So let's see. Yeah, doing. Scott's like, I hear, I'm here. Is he listening right now? Where is he? Like, how is he not in this? From home today, and so that's why he hasn't come in to like help me have like to work. He works from mm. home on um once a week now, so he's working from home on Thursdays. Look at that! Isn't that convenient? Mm. There's even another room on his on his desk. So yeah. Okay. All right. Happy New Year to all of you. I know Happy we're a few New weeks Year. in here, but. So blue. Yeah. Go blue. Go we blue. won. We Yay. won. It was amazing. We are so amazing that we knew that ahead of time. Um, we shall see you guys soon. Take care. Doodaloo. Doodaloo.